Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Shadow Man. Unfortunately, we missed a Dark Soul in the Blood Temple, so we're gonna go ahead and see if we can't pick that up really quickly. Wouldn't that be nice? So, there's a little doorway over there, right? So let's see if we can't go in there. I don't know if I even ever checked that area. Well, I recovered. Platforming. There we go. What did I get? Okay. Yeah, I'm not even sure if I've gone here before. So let's get out that flambeau. I got hit anyway. Great. Oh, hi. Wow. And there's an altar. And the sister's awake. That's a lot of sisters. And this is a whole thing I never did. My god. Got it. Jeez. And what do I even open with those marteau drums? Here's the altar. Okay, there it is. That's one thing. Okay. Got it. Any more? Yup. Slightly quiet things down, right? Still nothing from the room where I came in, but this is the last Dark Soul sitting right in front of us. There's this. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. There they are. Not all of them yet. So I got that one. There's one way up there. Oh, I used the baton for that. And is there anything else up here? No, it's just this. The sister's awake. <laughs> the sister's awake. Uh, of course, there's the purple ones. One more, right? Yep. Come on. Got it. All right, that shut them up. All right, let's go into that little hidden area. And okay, there is something. Damn, you really need a lot of upgrades to be able to get this one particular Dark Soul. And it's all quiet now. Oh, here we go. Got it. Got it. And it's calabash time. And we're in. There's another thing to blow up, I guess. Got it. Oh, damn, that actually does just kill me? I wasn't sure about that, but here we are, I guess. Oh, that's right, I forgot. It resets the, the items I have to manipulate. That's freaking stupid, but... All right, fine. So how do I do this in a way that doesn't kill me? 
Can I do this? Can I just put it way over there and just run all the way to the opposite end? Because I don't really know what option I have right now. Okay, we're good. Bam. Now that feels good. This is just the way out. Smooth. Like, for real? This freaking game, man. There we go. But I did it. And I needed those, too. Oh no, I do not want that out. Alright. Make it through this tunnel and see where it... Great. See where it takes me. Oh, I'm at the beginning of the temple. Oh, hello. Good. Much better. Now, was there anything else? Maybe not. That was an item. Oh, well, there is this. I don't think I ever did this. Marvelous. And I got some of our energy back. It's great. Alright, now we're done with the Temple of Blood. So let's go, of all places in the world, to the playrooms. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to go on a Dark Souls hunt, but there is something that I do want to do here. Forgot about that. An incredible dick move. Now I gotta remember which way is where in this game. Oh man, come on. Easier than I remembered. I do hope I'm going the right way. There's one thing in particular that I'm looking for. I'm not even going really Dark Souls hunting this time. I just hope I'm going the right way. I don't remember. This background is so twisted. Well, I do need the health, so... What? This might have been the way, I hope. No, maybe not. Because the way I want to go looked kind of like this. There was a door that I had unlocked from the other side. Oh, th th this is it. This is it. Look at how much quicker it was to get to this room. Okay, it's a lot of guys. Yeah, this lever unlocked the door that I just came in, and it saved me a massive trip. 
So this is good. I actually went the right way for once. Yeah, to hell with that. So here's what I came here for. Yeah. Maybe I need five of these things. Because remember these accumulators? But as you can see, it looks like one is for here, three are for here, and one is for here? Like, what's this? Like, I'm gonna say before I do this, but what if I use an accumulator on this thing? What do I get from that? Oh. It's ammunition. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? Here's what I'm gonna do instead. I should probably come back when I have all five, but I'll still use three accumulators. I have to re-equip it because it consumes the thing I have on me. And... There's no fanfare at all, but I got the Violator. Not to be confused with the spawn enemy. Oh my god. Oh my god. So we'll come back to that later. I need two more accumulators for the ammo that I can get for this thing. But we'll we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. First thing I want to do is go to the Cathedral of Pain. And get jumped when I get there. This time I remembered. Oh, he I was too far away. He just naturally recovered before my shot got there. There we go. What? Takes care of that. No one else? No friends to help you out? Okay. I'm okay with this. Oh, I heard something. Ah. Bye bye That shut him up too. Alright, so this time we're going down a different path. That was a weird shot, Did you see that? Not that it matters, you're dead, buddy. Got it. Those skulls there. What a nice fellow. Well, guess we're doing this. Welcome to Down Street Station, London. There's Cadell, right? This should be useful. And what are you? Jack's journal. Journal. Being the journal of John G. Pierce, otherwise known as Jack the Ripper. Oh, this is really hard to read. From hell, I have performed the bloody ritual upon myself and now exist beyond the veil, in the place my master calls Dead Side. The darkness is visible here. This hell is all not is all I deserve, and all that I have ever desired. 
Here I shall build a monument to stand for eternity, a cathedral of pain, a cathedral to pain, a place of asylum for all of the unique and misunderstood individuals who shall make it their spiritual home as the time of Armageddon approaches. So we have the asylum up top, a chimney, the main gates locked and guarded. A great building we shall make of it, and a century shall pass live side before asylum is complete. When it is finally completed, we shall send five of my master's dark souls across the veil from dead side to live side to prepare the way for his armies of judgment. To accomplish this, I have designed a conduit between this world and the next. The gateways between this world and the next I have called schisms. The idea behind these is to form a link between two souls on the very brink of crossing over to the next world. Live side, world of the living. The live, live side schism. Dead side, the world of the dead. Dead side, asylum schism. Dark soul, soul worm. Schism conduit. So I've been using those. The schisms shall act both as transmitting devices and receiver receptacles for the five dark souls, projecting them across the veil and receiving them deep within their bloody breasts. The schisms acting as the receiver receptacles shall be called live side and erected in gory resplendence by five like-minded individuals with the strength to dream of the day when he shall bring about his glorious cleansing with the schisms built in both worlds dread keys in the form of medical refractors retractors may open them oh it's retractors those those things those metal things i have Skull exposed, cords incorporated into flesh, spinal column must be exposed, retractor key, internal organs removed. Jeez. And so shall it be that the five dark souls shall be transmitted across the veil into the receiver receptacles, whereupon the five like-minded individuals shall devour them, thereby imbuing themselves with an immortal, darkly glowering life force. Not only this, but embedded within each of the five shall be a crystal of the prima materia, an aether's an etheric prism, which shall act as a failsafe key to each soul gate, thereby preventing unbelievers from accessing the way, the truth, and the death. But I only got one prism, though, right? So we got symbol of the Lizard King, Legion Resplendent of the Dark Heart of Asylum, symbols of the Five. Whoa, yeah, we've seen that once, the soul gate. The five shall be unstoppable, they shall be immortal, and I myself shall join them as the opener of the way. What a supreme honor. Once the schisms are in place and the energizing dark souls devoured by the five, these five shall erect larger receiver receptacles. These are the soul gates to be built in readiness for the reception of his dark soul armies. For we are many. So primary power coupling, prism operated door, prism receptacle. We've used this once. Oh, these things... Whereas the five initial dark souls protected via the schisms are to be spiritual manifestations, these armies of judgment shall comprise a multitude of actual physical beings, called true forms, with each one possessing a glowering dark soul of its cruel core. It should be no apostrophe, but at its cruel core. Thus, on the day of judgment, when the time is right, a time which, my master has explained, shall occur just before the turn of the millennium, the soul gate shall open, and the world shall be cleansed, and a new era shall dawn. So, true form, etheric weapon, dark soul, soul worm. Yeah, we've seen those. Of course, all of the above mechanisms shall require an engine to drive them, a great dark engine housed at the fearful heart of this place he has called Asylum. The dark engine shall power asylum and control the soul f flumes. Eh? Those storage receptacles containing the soldiers of his armies, the true forms. Yeah, it's hard to read that. The true forms, 120 of them, this being the number of dark souls known to be in existence. My master currently possesses but five of these. Yet his servants are abroad searching out the remainder. Soul flumes, crane. Storage receptacles containing true form beings, walkway, energizing link cables, drainage tube, skull cap, soul seal, dark engine, jeez. The vast quantities of etheric power harnessed by the dark engine are truly terrifying. I have therefore built into the design a failsafe mechanism, so stabilizing pistons, and we've shut down two of the four. Stabilizing pistons shall be active within the main block of the engine to counteract any destructive surges of power that may occur. Each stabilizing piston is operated via a console. So we've seen that, right? The engine block and the operating console. To deactivate each stabilizing piston, a combination is required. These combinations can only be set with an engineer's key. 
the combinations are shown. So I've done 555 five, five, and I've done 245. So I've done console rooms 1 and 4. So this is how we would figure it out. So now I could go back and do those things for the first time now, but eh, you get the idea. And I could always guess and check anyway. So consoles, rooms 3 and 2 are 312 and 124. Engineer's key. Engineer's key penetrates operating console at this point. So it is written, so it shall be. The grand design. For we are many. Signed, Jack the Ripper. Interesting. That, that's a lot of information. I like it. Now let's get out of here. It's pretty damn dark in here. Ah, great. Ah, great. Also, what enemies are going to we encounter here? Because they won't be asylum enemies. Oh, hello. Also, what? There's a rope here? Alright, is that a rope? Does that count? Maybe not. Maybe I'm going to be power wire. Yeah. Well, this is disgusting. Horribly disgusting. And that's where I come from, so... God, this place is gross. There, we're out. Oh, okay, that's how you get in here. I'm just waiting for enemies to show up. Oh, hello. Are we in a hospital or something? Look at all these red crosses. Oh. No entry, maintenance shaft. Okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Maintenance. It's not maintenance, it's maintenance. That's kind of embarrassing, but alright. Ups a daisy. At some point, I actually will want to go back into the playrooms for their Dark Souls, because I believe I just straight up missed some when we were last there. But we'll cover that later. Up the staircase, that was easy. Entrance to Booking Hall. Toilets. Underground. Yeah, we're on the subway. Way out. Station toilets. Let me get a map. A lot of submachine gun ammo. That makes me a little nervous. Entrance to booking hall. Suddenly. Silent Hill 3. Oh. Okay. Awfully quiet over here. Dog, really? After all that? That's disappointing. Well, that's a little more, I guess. Where the hell did this one come from? These dogs have a nasty habit of doing that, just appearing behind me. Nice. Bad dogs. Actually, I will go back real quick because I might have missed something. Something stupid, but something. I didn't even try using the toilets. Of 
Gross. No reflection. Lots of ammo. There we go. I'll have to look into what that is later, but now we can go back to where we were. I did it. I checked the toilets. I still gotta check what cheats were from uh, last installment, too. Or maybe it was two ago, but whatever. When I last unlocked cheats, I didn't see what they were. We'll get on that. What? Oh. Jeez, don't scare me like that, buddy. Hey, look, there's the eastbound and the westbound platforms. Oh, a warp. Good. Be very good. More ammo. So, for warp points... Yeah, we got the jail. Oh, yeah, I could just warp to the jail. I forgot about that. And down street station. So, we're missing one warp in the entire game. Well, may maybe these? If these counts? But we're we're cruising. We're, we're on, I guess, what... Counts as live side. Going down. No, I can walk back up them. I was wondering. Down street. Lots of machine gun ammo. Dog. What is this weird... Look at that. That just felt weird because it's diagonally down going in. The perspective felt all warped for a second. Well, there's a train car. Dogs. No. Okay. There's Kado. God, this this freaking Silent Hill three man. There's gotta be a way out of here. Nothing's gonna run me over, is it? This is a dead end, obviously, but... More ammo. Jeez. They really set me up. Also... No? Where was the window I was looking through to see this train car? Oh well. Nothing. Is this just a dead end? Oh no. When do I get jumped? Okay. There's something. Lots of ammo. There's gotta be some way the hell out of here. <laughs> There's gotta be some way the hell out of here. Does this loop on itself? Yes, it does. Good. Yeah, strange that they have that at all, but alright. Are you disoriented yet? This is the way I came in, so it's just around for nothing. Guess we're going inside. We're in. A 
That's fine. It's really bad. I like how the other dogs just chilling. Like, why are they just chilling? All right. So normally, I guess you don't want to fall down here, but we do have Kado. Now, if I fall back down there, I just walk out because no more enemies and we're back this doesn't look very hard to figure out ha 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 oh ho oh, oh. ho first try it yeah made it There's a dog. Wait a minute. What is this on the ground? Is this anything? There's writing. But in any case, I actually don't want to be here just yet. Sounds like a dog, but that's fine. I'm actually going to warp back to the, uh, the station. Wait, what? Get out of here. Wait, for real? Alright. And for now, it is time to stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We picked up the Violator. A weapon of great power that we can't really use yet. <laughs> but we also finished the Temple of Blood. We still have to finish the playrooms, but now we went into the London Underground and checked out Jack's Journal. We might be hot in the trail of another killer. Until next time, everyone.